Good afternoon. Uh, being four o'clock, we're going to call the order of the uh, Northampton License Commission meeting for Wednesday, September 4th, 2019. Um, I want to make an announcement that the uh, we are now recording audio and video. And the commissioners present are Brian Campanelli and Natasha Yakolov. Um, any public comment at this time? Okay, seeing none. We're going to move uh, forward with item three, application for short-term liquor license, uh, Commonwealth Grant Works. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, yeah. Date and time is Thursday, September 12, 2019, 5 p.m. to 8 p.m. Location is 112 Main Street. That's a small business grand opening, wine and malt. Can you state your name for the record, please? Jennifer Higgins. Hi, Jennifer. Thanks for coming. Sure. Can you tell us about your... Uh, what you've got planned here? Very small opening. Uh, it will be the basement level of the Upton Mass Mount um, building on 112 Main Street. We expect to serve just a couple of bottles of wine for probably up to 50 people through the course of a three hour period. We have um, a ton of insurance, liability insurance and coverage for the event. Um, and, and as I say, maybe 30 to 50 people through the three hour period. Okay, great. It'll be in, inside the building, as you said. Right? Yeah, in the downstairs. Yeah. <coughs> Are you opening a location in the downstairs, or this is you're using the location? No, to we're just using it as community space because I rent at 13 Old South Street on the mm -hmm. second floor, and it's a tiny office. Yep. So there's not enough room to host 50 people. There you go. And I do. I, I think I attached my business certificate, which um, has my address of my office. It's my office. Yeah, if you have uh, 19 or whatever. No, 15. Oh, that's right. Oh, that's right. If not, I can produce that. Oh, we got it. That's fine. Okay. I don't have any other questions. I do not. Enjoy the first one. I would, I would like to make a motion to approve the application for short term liquor <coughs> license for Commonwealth Grant Works. On Tuesday, September 12, from 5 to 8 p.m. at 112 Main Street for the Small Business Grand Opening. Can I just make one um, modification? It's Thursday, not Tuesday, for the record. Oh, okay. Yeah, we have Thursday. Yeah, we have Thursday. Oh, you do? Okay, cool. I think so. I heard Tuesday. So I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Great, thank you. Thank you. You're welcome. Uh, number four, application for transfer of Common Vic license for Boston, 311 Riverside Drive. Yes. Yes. Okay. Right. How are you? Can you state your name for the record, please? Sir, my name is Maroon Cash. Uh, I've been here for Boston. All right. With me, so, restaurant. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for that. So, um, right next to my house. So you're transferring. It's not right here. Transferring from what? From the Asian Bay. Yeah. Where is that? We had to on Riverside Drive. It's coming around the bend. Oh, right, right, right. Okay, that white yeah, house. Yeah, yeah. So there was um, an Asian restaurant that has since closed, and Fa Boston is right. is opening in that location. Oh, nice. Yeah. Okay. Excellent. So I don't know that I have. Do you have other locations? No. No. Great. I have no question. I'm really excited to have you in the neighborhood. Oh, very good. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I just need to open the bridge so I can get to it. Yeah, exactly. So, yeah. So you want to make a uh, motion? I will. Announcing. I will make a motion uh, to approve the application for transfer of common victualler license for uh, Boston at 311 Riverside Drive. Second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Number five, application for short-term liquor license, Smith Vocational High School Alumni Association, date time Friday, October 4th, 2019, 5 p.m. to 9 p.m. Location will be Smith Boat on uh, 80 Locust Street, and the events of Banquet, Wine and Malt. Can you state your name for the record? Joan Powers. Hi, Joan. Thank you. Can you tell us a little bit about your event? Well, we're going to have a social hour from 5 to 6, so I think the... The uh, wine and beer is going to be very limited to about that time. Okay. And uh, you should be buttoned up before nine o'clock. It's usually over by eight, but I was pushing for nine, just thinking maybe we had strikers. Yeah. All right. So you have to all your paperwork in. So I don't have any questions. I don't have any questions. You want to make a motion? Or I I'll make a motion. Okay. I move to approve the application for the short-term liquor license for Smith Vocational High School. <coughs> 
Ohio Alumni Association on Friday, October 4th from 5 to 9 p.m. at Baby Locust Street for a I second all in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you so Thanks. much. Thanks. Have a good event. Number six, an application for short term liquor license. Click workspace. Date and time Friday, September 20th, 2019, 7 p.m. to 9 30 p.m. Location 9 and a half Market Street. The event is Click Music Performance, Wine and Malt. State your name for the record. Hi, I'm Tiffany Bartron. Hi, Tiffany. Thanks for coming. Do mm -hmm. um, you want to tell us a little bit about? Yeah, we're hosting um, a music event that is sponsored by a couple other um, businesses in the area. We serve um, wine and beer from some of our um, our partners. Um, Building Eight provides a lot of it, so um, sure. it's just uh, for King Radio, celebrating 20 plus years of being an amazing part of our community. Yeah, what kind of uh, music performance is there going to be? This one particularly is a little more jazzy folk. We have different types of music, being, um, but this King Radio is jazzy folk stuff. So. And the acoustics, so everything will be the same as your past events. Yes. Good. Okay. You want to make that motion? I will. I'll make a motion to approve the um, application for short-term liquor license for Click Workspace on the date and time mentioned, uh, with a location nine and a half Market Street. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thank you. Item seven, application for short-term liquor license, building eight brewing. Taking time, Saturday, September 21st, 2019, 12 p.m. to 6 p.m. Location is 320 Riverside Drive, building eight, anniversary party, wine and malt. State your name for the record. Uh, O'Brien Tom. Thanks, O'Brien. Thanks for coming. Certainly. So the same as always? Pretty much for, you know, uh, we'll fence off the section of the uh, front area of the brewery, um, and then we'll be taking uh, IDs through the little walkway coming from Riverside. Um, pretty much everything wraps up. Hopefully there won't be any rain this much rain this year. Um, but yeah, pretty straightforward. Every single person serving is TIP certified, and um, we'll, we're not going to do any wine, but just, you know, um, basically just the, the beers we'll have on, uh, some seasonal specialties, the ladybug is coming back, peach sour, things like that, so more fall stuff, um, but nothing, nothing's changing. You have uh, music again? The um, future? maybe, yeah, yeah um, not so sure, we're trying to figure that out right now, if we want to kind of get into that this time, mm -hmm. you know, could just be more of a... I will probably have uh, some ambient music kind of playing, but sure. you know, I'm in the courtyard, so yeah. you know, that'll be about, about it. Fantastic. I don't have any other questions. I don't either. It's the same. All right. I'll make a motion to approve the application for short term liquor license of Building 8 Brewery for the date and time mentioned at 320 Riverside Drive for the uh, Building 8 anniversary party. I'll second. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thanks. Thank you. Thank you, guys. I gotta go do specials.
p.m. location Northampton Center for the Arts, 33 Holly Street, a variety show, wine and malt. Can you state your name, please? Alex Washett. Hey, Alex. How are you? Good to see you all. Great. Can you tell us a little bit about the event? Yeah, it's just going to be uh, one hour uh, serving beer from uh, Progression Brewery, uh, doing some food with that as well, complimentary, um, and it's just to <clears throat> we'll mingle before the uh, variety show that's, that's going on between 7 and 9. Uh, yeah, TIP certified uh, servers, myself obviously would get the board as well, um, I'm also TIP certified, and, uh, but yeah, nice and low-key. inside or inside. outside? Inside. inside. Yeah. yeah. Upstairs? On the yeah, right on the first floor there. Okay. Yeah. So you just walk in. Yep. Great. Um, I have no questions. Would you like to make a motion? I would. I move to approve the application for short-term liquor license for Washington Ware Incorporated DBA Jake's Restaurant for Saturday, September 7th, 6 to 7 p.m. at the Northampton Center for the Arts at 33 Holly Street. Second. All in favor? Aye. Uh, okay. Thank Thanks. you very much. Thanks. Thank you, too. R9, application to change a date on a previously approved short-term liquor license. The Academy of Music, Inc., DBA Academy of Music. Sunday, November 17, 2019, 7.30 p.m. to 11.30 p.m. It was previously approved for Thursday, August 22nd, 2019. The location is 274 Main Street. Uh, All in Vets Band, Wine and Malt, request fee waiver. Can you state your name, please? Melissa Cleary Pearson. Thank you, Melissa. Thanks for coming. Thanks, okay. um, So, pretty much all the same? Yes. As usual? Okay. And all these below as well. Yeah, we're just working on number nine right now because oh, okay. it's not approving. It's just amending. Oh, uh, we're just amending. Yeah. 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 Okay. I guess that show got so. canceled for August twenty second, so okay. she's yes. it got rescheduled to November. Mm -hmm. yeah. All right. So just okay. I will make a motion to approve the amendment to the date of the previously approved short term liquor license for the Academy of Music. Uh, previously approved for August 22nd, moved to November 17th. Uh, I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. No. Oh, no. now we're going to go on with 10, right? Yeah. <laughs> okay. So 10, this application for short-term liquor licenses. Uh, the Academy of Music, Inc., uh, DBA Academy of Music, location 274 Main Street. The date and times are as follows. At 7.30, oh, there's no... Oh, oh, they're all 7 30 to 11 30 p.m. Thursday, September 26, 2019. Uh, September 28, 2019. Thursday, October 24, 2019. Friday, October 25, 2019. Wednesday, November 13, 2019. Friday, November 15, 2019. And Tuesday, December 17. 2019. Okay. And you have, yeah, I didn't see that in here. Oh, and fee, fee waivers requested at some time. Okay. All right. So, again, all the same as always. So, yeah. I will make a motion then to approve the applications for the short term regulations for the Academy of Music as, out, as outlined in item number 10 on the agenda and as well as the fee waiver. I'll second that all in favor. Aye. Aye. Thank you very much. Thank you. Okay. Number 11, application for short-term liquor license abandoned building brewery. Saturday, September 21st, 2019, 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. Wood Park, 300 North Main Street, Florence, Northampton Cycling Club Bike Fest. Can you state your name for the record? Yes, uh, I'm Matt Tarlecki from Abandoned Building Brewery. Hi, Matt. Thanks for coming in. Sure. Can you tell us a little bit about the event? Yes, so I was here last year. Uh, we partnered with um, Northampton Cycling Club. Northampton Cycling Club, we are a sponsor for them. Um, so they have this bike fest every year. I think it's around two to 300 riders. Um, and then after the ride, they meet up at the Look Park, uh, the Dow Pavilion, um, where there's food, and um, we are also serving beer there. How are you going to confine the uh, survey? So in the area they did last year, it's a roped off area. Um, people, they've got checklists with people's names and, and they ID you. Um, I 
think they check you off and you get two drink tickets. You get a um, wristband or something? You get a wristband, yes. Um, so myself and uh, two other servers will be there, tip certified. Um, I think it's their ride is from 10 to 5, but we're not actually serving, I think, till I think it's around noon, um, noon till 5. Mm -hmm. um, we won't be serving at 10 o'clock. And are you selling beer as well, or do you only get a beer if you have a ticket? Only beers with tickets, okay. so it's, we're not selling. Okay. Great. Cool. Uh, no further. I have no further questions. Okay. I will make a motion to approve the application <coughs> for short term liquor license for abandoned building brewery on September 21st from 10 to 5 p.m. at Book Park for the Northampton Cycling, Cycling Club Bike Fest. I'll second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. Thanks. Thank you very much. Have a good time. Oh, yeah. Is anyone here for number 12 for Uya? No, not yet. Uh, That's the, it's, she's looking at the second location. She's insane. I didn't know that was the first. In Florence. What is it? Where the old subway was. Oh. Yeah, that's what they call Uya. Oh, sweet. Yeah. Okay. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. Yeah. I'm sure. 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 i am sure 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 i am Brad. Yeah. Um, you tell us a little bit about the event. Yeah, so it'll be a networking event um, for women in all different disciplines within STEM. Um, we'll have a speaker that will be there, so we're, we'll have beer and wine um, for the first hour and a half, and then there'll be a few stragglers that come out of the speaker event um, following that, um, and we'll have a workshop as well. Okay, and STEM is? Science, Science. technology, engineering, and math. Right. Um, so anything from any of the local colleges? Yeah, actually, so um, where the Pioneer Valley Women in STEM was originally established through Holyoke Community College, GCC, um, and STCC, and also BCC. So we have um, kind of representation at each of the colleges where we bring in um, people and students and um, employees. Which one is Spread BCC? the word. Hmm? Which one is BCC? Berkshire Community Berkshire. Berkshire. Okay. We had two events last year, both in Springfield, and so now we're trying to migrate up here and, um, you know, from the side of the valley. That's great. A bit closer. Fantastic. Perfect. I don't have any more questions. I don't either. Okay. I make a motion then to approve the application for short-term liquor license for the Pioneer Valley Women in STEM for Wednesday, October 23rd from 5 to 8 p.m. at the Hampton Center for the Arts at 33 Holly Street for the networking event for women in STEM from Western Mass. Second, all in favor? Aye. Thank, Thank you. Thank you. Okay. Um, yeah. uh, number 14, application for short-term liquor license, Chickpea Festival, Inc. Any time Friday, September 20, 2019, 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. Saturday, September 21st, 2019, 11 a.m. to 10 p.m. Location is Three County Fairgrounds, All Sport Arena, uh, Fall Music at Brew Fest, Benefit New England's support team, all alcohol. Can you state your name for the record? My name is Robert Lizzo. I'm the president of Festival Incorporated. Thanks. Thank you for coming, Robert. Tell us a bit about the uh, event, please. Um, we're actually uh, helping out uh, the New England support team, which is a nonprofit group of uh, tradesmen and women that are looking to establish themselves as first responders to work with local EMDs uh, and departments like uh, DPW building and so on and so forth. So this is their first fundraiser to help stock um, their stock when they get called out for natural disasters. Okay. Have you had an event at this location before? No, actually, it, it actually works out well. We just got to know the downtown, get down to Chicopee, and we have like five gates at that event, and we probably have about close to 5,000 linear feet of temporary fencing 
for the liquor permit. This one here actually works very well because um, we have the all sports arena and we're working off just two gates. Everything else is fenced in and the two gates face north towards 91. So we actually have a, a really good control um, on hopefully what we're trying to practice over the years in Chicopee and in Springfield with our TIP certified uh, personnel. We have over two dozen <coughs> people who are TIP certified. We have close to 60 to 70 volunteers depending on the time of the year. Um, and we help out other organizations who are trying to you know, boost their awareness and activity. How many people do you well, right now, hopefully, ticket sales get up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, there's a lot going on. It's their first year. Yeah. Um, there's a lot of commitments in the fire, but I think with the Big E and everything else, yeah. I, I think they're feeling that um, same yep. time frame of competition for everybody trying to have place mm -hmm. on September 20th and 21st. Um, so we're, you know, we have a board meeting tonight. Hopefully, uh, you know, they continue to move forward on the event. Mm -hmm. and, go from there. Jamie's been a really uh, great help over at the Three County Fair okay. and uh, it works out. For us it works out well because he's a really good liaison and he knows what we're up against. Um, our main distributor is Williams. Um, we will work with commercial depending on what product we need to buy. Mm -hmm. um, we would like to see this event you know progress with this group for years to come uh, maybe bring back you know the feel of the old Northampton Brew Fest. We're actually the old taste of Chibi. Oh okay. So that's so how no under it under a new name we're actually 15 okay. years old this okay. year so <coughs> so um i don't know if you covered that but how are you determining who's of age and keeping that when separate? people come to get their wristband we have two certified personnel that will be looking at their um id okay. uh and should be we have to have classroom tip certification that's not online uh, we do that all with williams and tina and gusto uh through their um scheduling so Great. We're, we're, we're pretty strict now. Right? All right. Excellent. I don't have any further to you. No, I don't. Would you like to make a motion? Sure. Then I will make a motion to approve the application for the short term liquor license for the Chicopee Festival Incorporated on Friday, September 20th from 4 to 10, Saturday, September 21st from 11 to 10 at the Three County Fairgrounds in the All Sport Arena for the Fall Music and Brew Fest to benefit the New England support team. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Uh, thank you. Thank you for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you. Item 15, application for short-term liquor licenses. Joyful Pictures, Sound and Press. Uh, Friday, September 6, 2019, 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. And September 13, 2019, 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. Elks Lodge, 17 Spring Street, Florence. Dance party concert, wine and malt. Can you state your name for the record? Yes, my name is John Martin. Hi, John. Thanks for coming. Hello. Can you tell us a little bit about the uh, events? Well, let's see. Uh, doors open at 8 o'clock. Uh, it's open to the public. Um, people are welcome to um, uh, dance to the music. They're welcome to uh, just simply listen. There are seats set up for just listening. Uh, there are seats uh, at tables where people just want to have snacks and drink, and then there's a really big dance floor where people can dance. The, it's, it's mainly a dance, and the, all the advertising on the radio and television are, is all about dancing. One of the things that I, I gather is that years ago there used to be a lot of dance places, dancing places in Northampton, and now there are virtually none. And uh, I'm trying to remedy that. Okay. Have you worked with Brad McGrath before as your TIP certified? No, but my insurance company has. Yes. My, yep. um, King Cushman mm -hmm. uh, recommended him highly yep. to me. Yep. You'll be in good hands. Yes. Great. Good. Is this the first event of its type that you've done? Or you it's the first you? event okay. of its type I've done, but although I've been a professional museum musician for over 50 years so I've had I've, I've been in, in a lot of different kinds of venues right. and different kinds of situations okay. musical situations okay excellent I don't have any questions oh, I don't either okay. all right then you want to make a motion sure Great. So I'll move to uh, approve the short-term liquor licenses for 
Joyful Pictures Sound and Press for September 6, 2019, 8 p.m. to 2 p.m. and September 13, uh, 8 p.m. to 2 a.m. at the Elks Lodge, 17 Spring Street, Florence, the dance party concert. Um, I'll second. Sorry. All in favor? Aye. 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 Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Have a good event. Application for common big license. Yeah, common big license. Hi. What's Hi. your name? Uh, Yu. Y U E. Yu. Okay. And this is for Uya Management LLC, DBA Uya at E Crafts Ave. Yes. And you know. Um, I'm very familiar with your Florence location. My family yeah. frequents it a lot. Yes. Um, so okay. congratulations on opening a second spot. Thank I you. I think that's great. I think you'll do really well downtown. Yes. Just don't leave Florence. <laughs> no. Okay. <laughs> we love Florence customers. Oh, good, good, good. Excellent. Um, so you'll be doing the same thing downtown? Yeah, we'll be doing the same thing. Pokeball and Sushi Burrito. Mm -hmm. And this is our will be about the same, 11 till 9 o'clock. We're doing takeout. Some um, eating customers will have some chairs, but yeah. because of the space limit, not much. Great. So I will expect a lot of lunch customers, yeah. some dinners as well. And yeah, everything is the same, like Florence. Yeah, that's awesome. Yes. I have no questions. I have none. All right. I'll make a motion. To approve the application for common picture license for Uya Management, LLC, DBA Uya at 8 Crafts Avenue. Second, all in favor? Aye. Aye. You're all set. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Thank you. Number 16, notification of Kino license application. Owen Shell Hamden Inc. DBA Racing Mart, 54 East Hampton Road. We just get notified by the Mass State Lottery, and they said if if we object, then we have to write a letter. But um, really, you don't really have any grounds to object unless the tax collector says that there's money overdue yeah. balances. So not. we don't need to approve it. So We're you just don't to need to approve it or yeah. disapprove it. It's just really notification saying that we don't object. I thought they already had one. It's they it changed names. Oh, okay. They changed owners. Okay. Okay. Um, approval of minutes, August seventh, two thousand nineteen. I look on. That. Was I here? You were. You I were. Know. I didn't look at. You all three. You were here. So we need her. And we need to it, so I'll table that. You don't, but I mean, you didn't read on them. I didn't. But whatever. She didn't say that on camera. <laughs> I proved them. I did. Oh, fine. Approval. You want? Okay. I, was, um, I, I read them. Okay. I'll make a motion to approve the August. Bit. Yes. So you say you got me covered? I will Perfect. make a motion to approve the August 7th, 2019 minutes. All right. I'll second that. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Thank you. All right, so discussion on uh, setting procedure for administering fair wage bonds. So do you feel like we should wait for Helen on this as well? I mean, or do, is there a timeline? I mean, there's kind of a timeline because once you guys decide, then Alan needs to put whatever it is into words, and then he needs to be come back to the next meeting, and then you have to approve it, and then it needs to be like, ratified, and so by the time that there's, um, by the time that there is, um, the removal time. I see. Is there anything pressing between now and the next meeting that would require this to be settled? Well, the time is the limit. That's what's present. She's saying that because it has to go through C1, right? Yeah, but there's a so. like. Um, when is it? Everybody's renewing their bonds. Is that? The well, time there is that Osaka lingering question. And yeah. they, they're waiting for a response. Yeah. On whether or not they have to pay the same amount second year out. Yeah, and whether or not you guys decide to make it the same amount and like like it 
decision kind of needs to be made, I guess. Yeah, wasn't there a three year thing? Is that what they're trying three to say? Three years. So and what was the purpose of that? That you have to pay what your penalty was for three years? Well, that's what you guys have to decide. How much they should pay and and it's within three years. If they've had a judgment within three years, then they need to provide a bond. Oh, and then if they don't have a judgment, then it falls off and they don't have to get a bond at all. So yeah, if no one has a judgment, they don't need to get a bond. Right. It's only people that have so judgments. My position on this is that having a uniform strat of like a set uniform approach eliminates the ability to uh, look at each situation case by case, which I think often it merits that. And the Osaka situation is an example of it. So I would I would rather the commission take the opportunity to have um, a discussion, case by case discussion to use our discretion for the for the bond for each one. But didn't we have a uniform? We did. And so that's what hurt Osaka so much because it was so high. Right. So but as per the suggestion of Attorney Seawald last year, when the commission decided to um, place a wage bond on anybody who had a judgment against them by the Attorney General's office, we set three times the penalty. And at that time, we had two penalties that were fairly low. Um, so it wasn't punitive. However, with the most recent example, it became punitive, but they, their judgment was also huge for a reason, yeah. because they had broken the law egregiously. Um, so I think there's a greater discussion, and it may be that we, we end up, for each case, using that factor of three, but it allows us so to- So you want to have the option? I think we should have the option, because, I, because for the specific example of the, the egregious nature that brought them to a fine of $60,000 or whatever it was, was serious. So just because it's a lot of money, does that mean that we lessen it, the three-year factor? It doesn't. But I think that it's, it merits a discussion. So that for each time, because it is so much money. And the bond is actually an insurance um, in that amount, or is it three times that amount? So if they have a sixty thousand dollar fine, we're doing a hundred eighty thousand dollar bond. It's a hundred eighty thousand dollar bond. Isn't that outrageous? I mean, they don't have to pay that amount. Right. They have to pay a percentage. I understand that, but my, that's my whole point, though. Their percentage was huge. It's and the, their penalty was huge. Penalty was huge no, for I get the that. reason. I understand that, but I'm saying a hundred eighty thousand dollar. What I, I guess what I'm questioning is why do we have to go three times that? It was. It was. Suggestion, suggested at the beginning. Right. Yeah. So we could change that to match or be one and a half times or two times that and three. Yeah, it could be whatever you choose. Right. Um, and that's what you're asking for is to be able to have the liberty to case by case basis choose where we go with it is what you're saying. Right. I mean to me that makes the most sense. However it, it creates additional standards that but it also could some serious um, hey how come you did this to me but you didn't do it to that type thing that's yeah. why right. standards need to be you yeah. need to come up with what factors you're going to look at and choose I think um, listen, I just to be fair I don't know why he went three um, maybe he was just trying to scare people so figuring oh it's going to be $1,400 or $1,500 so a $5,000 you know, bond for three years costing you fifteen hundred dollars a year to buy it or whatever it costs is trying to scare them into hey you better you know toe the line and pay your people or you know, I, you know, I don't know. But if there's a limit like that I mean because here's the point. Why are we trying to double zing the, the people that are like the guy paid sixty thousand dollars. Because he had to he had to I understand that but what I'm saying is who are we if the, if the government or the state already hit them with a fine and they paid it? Why do we have to feel like we gotta zing them again times three? You know, make them buy the bond for three years. But I, I just personally think one and a half times would be enough to cover it. Why do you have to go three times plus? You know what I mean? I don't know. It just seems a little. I, I, 
guess on the smaller ones, or maybe there's where your point is, we have ranges. Like listen, if you, you know, between one and 10,000, between 10,000 and $1, and, and 15,000, and between 15,000 and one, and X, it's three times, you know what I mean? Anything over $15,000, it's three times. Done, you know what I mean? So, or, or maybe it's the opposite. If it's so tiny, it's three times that, and then it's only one and a half. Like there's where your option can be if you set that, like you're saying, put it in black and white, there it is. You know, first of all, you broke the law, you paid your fine. Well now, here's how the here's how we wrote, you know, the accordance of your bonds that you have to get. So to me, like you could do it in, in increments of mm -hmm. amount of money. You know? I honestly don't feel prepared to make this decision today. Yeah, I just, I, I don't either. I would like to discuss it more. I mean, this could yeah. be an hour discussion without a doubt. This could go, go easy, you know, some time. But, you know, do you? But it has to be done by what date drop dead, you know, for renewal. Well, I mean, they need to notice in order to get a bond. It doesn't take, it doesn't, it's not overnight where they can get one, right? Right. Um, I mean, we could always have a special meeting just to talk about this. I would almost rather. Let's do I mean, that. I hate to. Let's meet again. Add another meeting, but I think it's important. Yeah, because I agree. And waiting 30 days will push you and him and everybody. And you know, let's not do. Let's do another meeting. Okay. In like September. That. I leave. Remember. I'm leaving the country September 23rd. So. Okay. We could do it before then. If we could do it before. Um, now, here's an interesting thing. If I decide to go, I might be out of town from the 9th to the 12th or possibly the 14th. I don't know. But my dad's having surgery, so I need to be down there before he goes in. So that maybe something the week of 16? Yeah. Yeah. How about. Wednesday the 18th mm -hmm. at 4 o'clock. That would work for me. Yeah, and, and I'll be, um, I will be more prepared to have a discussion about it. So if, Hel if since Helen's not here now, if she can't be here, then we can discuss it. Right now it does. I just have to check my work schedule on, uh, on my computer. Okay. It's my office manager schedule thing for me, so. All right, and do, is there anything you guys would like or need that would be helpful to the discussion? Um, having some, like, uh, I, if there's information available from other communities who do this, I mean, there wasn't the last time. Everywhere, I Googled for like hours one day. Yeah. Maybe you only find one place that or he says really Springfield. Yeah, he said New York Springfield. I found nothing. Only Maybe call I the city and ask. I don't know. Found, yeah, I do that. The only thing I ever found was New York and it was about like uh, nail salons. Yep. Yeah. Um, I'll do a little research and see what I can come up with, but. I mean, I think the way I think the wage bond is. I support the wage bond approach. I would like to see the three of them that were issued. You know, that we have to deal with all the. So I have all the numbers in front of me. I'd like to see okay. that. Just bring a copy if you could, or something that would be good. Because I, I can wrap my head around it better and see mm -hmm. what seems more logical to, to go with. You know, stuff like that. Yeah. So if we did if we did a factor of one and a half, would they still need the wage bond for three years or then they only need the bond for one and a half years? No. The, the three times and the three years have two, two separate things. Two separate things. And what is the three years? Was that that was a recommendation from Attorney Seawald? I think so. I see yeah. I came I came on board right, right as it happened. got approved. Yep. So I don't know yeah. any of the <coughs> conversation 
Okay. Another option is ask him. if you have to carry it for three years, the first year is three times the fine. The second year is two times. Yep. The last year is one time. Carry your wage bond. At least yeah. the, at least we're not hitting them as much on yeah. that monetary value. You know, it goes down each year. That's all these guys are asking for. Is yeah. Can we get a break on the, the cost? Yeah. Know, I think. And if we if it, we you use that approach, then the first year out that you know the the bond to ensure that they don't have further uh, wage issues is, is strong. I mean, it's a well, strong that's why approach to it. Three, it's still, like times that, so yeah. it's a hundred and eighty thousand dollar bond the first year. Yeah. Then the next year it drops. Yeah. You know. I think that actually makes sense. It makes good sense. Yeah, quite logical. Yeah. <laughs> don't. <laughs> oh God. So, so yeah. If you, if you do it that way, that's not a case by case basis. Right. That's not. Okay. But it just covers everything. But it seems right. it seems it does seem to cover everything. And it's fair. And it could be written into the rules, yeah. and that way there wouldn't need to be a hearing every yeah. time the right. licensee needs right. to have it. You just right. here it is. That's the rule you're paying. See you later. We don't need to see you. I mean, it seems really logical. Thank you. It really does. Right. Are you surprised? <laughs> Well, I, well, I mean, it, it's it's logical. It's it's fair to you know the smaller smaller penalties and the larger penalties. Each per each entity is paying just the same exponential amount. Right. And the bottom line is, don't break the law. Right. You don't have to worry about it. So. So for the so we're still gonna have that meeting, but I'm also gonna put up. I, I'm, I'll have to think about it, but I will probably put something on there that, you, that you'll have to determine how much the Osaka's bond's going to be. How many years are they into it? Well, this is going to be their first. second year. So this is their second. So yeah, so they got the bond last year, so this will be their second so, year coming up. So give them the, the approach at $120,000 bond this year. But also, we can't do that yet, I don't think, because it hasn't been, you haven't voted on it, and it's not in the regulation right but if right. we have this meeting and then we clue in Helen if she can make it even if she doesn't come right mm -hmm. it depends but through email you can keep her up yeah, yeah. what's going on but then at that meeting we can vote on it correct we can bring that up and say okay the extra this is, meeting? yes couldn't we I don't know I guess because it won't be written oh so it's not public yeah rules and okay well figure it out I hate for it to go can you just do the vote on it now and then change it if we have to you know what I mean if we're pretty secure that that's the logical thing to do and we're thinking we're gonna go with that couldn't you just kind of put a vote in now for that well, we can't vote on Osaka it's not on the agenda yeah all right we're just voting on the yeah. Process. I don't know. I mean, are you comfortable doing that without Helen's voice? I think this is, I mean, I think it's something that I Helen would be, agree. I think she would agree with it, but I also think she'd have, about it. yeah, mm -hmm. she'd want to have the opportunity to, to contribute. Yeah. That's fine. I'm just trying to speed it up for you so yeah, that no. everybody can do what they got to do in time. That's all. Um, can you pull a special meeting together that is? You know, put out to the public or not? Every meeting that we have has to be posted to the public. So, what is it you were saying then that, that you know on the 18th you didn't have time to put that? Like we couldn't do an official vote. Why? Um, no, we we couldn't do a vote today about Osaka because it wasn't on the agenda. That's not on the agenda. But right. if we put it on an agenda for the 18th, could we done? Yes. The only thing is. It wouldn't be written into the rules and regulate like you haven't you haven't voted on oh, that yet. So then maybe on the the next the eighteenth, you can have a vote then, and then on, at the October meeting. So I get I get what you're saying about Helen being here, but if we voted in this now, or we can't because it's not on the. I mean, it is a discussions on agenda, but. Yeah, and I, well, yeah, I actually didn't include discussion and possible vote. Oh, right. right. So we got to wait. 
Okay. So it's going to go another month anyway. So the 18th. 18th, we have a special meeting. And then maybe Alan can put something together by the time the October meeting rolls around. Yeah. And you can vote on it then. And I'm not going to be here the first week of October, so okay. I don't know if you want to meet. I have the meeting or wait until I'm back. It's totally up to you guys. It would give Alan more time if he needs it. Yeah.